I'm John with Fluidine, and we have three vein pumps here um, that they have one thing in common, which is they have an internal relief cartridge, and it's this right here. So we get some calls in here uh, that we have to field on customers that aren't sure what the pressure ranges are or how these get installed inside the covers in these pumps. Um, usually, straight from the factory, they come inscribed on uh, the cartridge what the pressure setting is. So this one has a 1.7, usually right here on the hex head, which indicates that it's 1700 PSI relief pressure. Now, how these go into each one of these pumps uh, is different. Uh, for the V10 and V20 um, Fs, they go in there the same way, but the VTM goes in there a little bit differently, and we'll go over that. Uh, so in the V10 and V20F covers, uh, obviously you have your plug here, and once you remove that plug, behind there is a spring, there is some tension there, so be careful when you're removing a plug that it doesn't fly off and you lose it. But once you get that spring out, then the relief cartridge is down inside there, and depending on where it's positioned at, you might need a magnet to kind of grab that, that cartridge out of there. But once you get it out and you get a hold of it, uh, just pull it out, and again, it will have, it should have the pressure relief inscribed on here. That way, if the tag falls off in the pump or it has a proprietary number on it, it doesn't give any kind of uh, relief pressure on it, you'll still be able to tell what it is by that number on here. So if you do remove the plug and everything falls out, how it goes back in is the relief cartridge goes back in with this hex head facing up towards the plug, and it should just slide back in there. If it's a little rough, just wipe it off and clean it, and it should slide back in there. Replace your spring back in, and then put your plug back on, and uh, just kind of press it on until you get a few threads started on there. And once you do, you can pretty much just hand tighten it up, and then use a socket or something to uh, finish tightening it up until that's snug. Now, the difference on the VTM is this has an internal plug with a pin that holds it in place. So what you have to do is knock this pin out, and then once you get the pin out of the way, uh, the internal spring pressure should push the plug out, uh, but if it doesn't and it sticks a little bit, you can always use a uh, set of needle nose pliers and try and pull on that plug to see if you can kind of break it free and, and get it out of there. And then once you do, <clears throat> behind it, is the cartridge. So again, it's different from the way it's set up on these V10 and V20 F pumps, F cover pumps. Um, the cartridge, uh, once you get it out, it goes in with that hex bolt facing inward toward the spring, and then you can also pull that spring out or leave it in. Um, but this is the same cartridge, so it should have the pressure scribed somewhere either on this this hex head, or sometimes they scribe it in the body in here somewhere. Uh, to get it back in, put your spring in first, and what you want to do is slowly work that uh, cartridge back in, and it's a little tricky because you have to hold it and then try and put the plug back in it, and then once you get the plug back in it, you're going to want to try and put some pressure on it to push it in, and then once you get it past where that o-ring seals, you can slide your pin in part way to hold it in place and then finish putting your pin all the way through the hole. Uh, the other cover I have here is a V20 uh, P cover, a uh, priority cover. This does not have one of these relief cartridges in it. So if you're thinking it does, it does not. It has actually a poppet seat and a spring behind this plug here to adjust your, your pressure setting. And there's really no way to tell uh, what your pressure setting is if there's no number on this, this pump for a model code. You pretty much just have to run it and test it and put a pressure gauge in there uh, to find out what your pressure is set at. One more thing I want to go over is the orifice size for your flow rate out your cover. Now, <clears throat> on these three pumps, it's going to be inside the pressure port on the cover. So. Here's your pressure port, and if you're able to look down inside on uh, angled off this way, there is an orifice which is going to be your controlled flow out your cover. It's the same thing on the V20F cover. It's down in here, but now on your VTM, it's right inside your outlet right down in there. Very easy to see. Um, and that's where, where you're going to change your uh, flow rate 
uh, for you to vary it from three gallons to five gallons or what have you. Our VTMs come with a orifice plug, so you can pretty much change whatever flow rate you need just by changing the plug and the orifice hole in that plug. It's very easy. Uh, the V20 priority cover, that is down inside the cover, so you have to remove the cover and drill out your hole right in here to change the flow rate through the orifice in this cover. So that's how you change your uh, internal relief valve and how you find out what the pressure is on it. Uh, remember to like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and as always, go online and chat with us live or give us a call if you have any questions.